computer now. <laughs> Alright, uh, go. I ate them. That's right. I ate the divorce papers, Charles. And I ate them with ketchup. And they were good. Like, really good. <laughs> yeah, you probably want me to get serious about that divorce. But you're the one who always called our marriage a joke. So, let's use logic here. If A, we never had a serious marriage, and then B, we cannot have a serious divorce. No! We can't. It's a farce, Charles. <laughs> a farce that tastes good with ketchup. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it last week your father asked you why you walked down the aisle and you said, for the exercise? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Charles. I'm laughing. I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm laughing because you are about to give up on a woman who is infinitely lovable. For instance, Paul. Paul loves me. I mean, he loves me. He has made 127 passes at me, proposed 47 times, and sent me over 200 original love sonnets. He sees something in me, and he writes it down. He made it first. I would never ask him to sign his name on a piece of paper, promising to just turn off his feelings for me forever. But that's what you want me to do for you? To sign away my right to those, to that sweet smile, Charles. And those baby brown eyes. The way your hands go through my hair before bed. <laughs> those are the things I want to lose. In fact, I won't lose them. I won't lose you. I will you. I've written the sonnet. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to summer's day? Thou art more. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. It's all a big joke. I keep waiting for you to say April Fool's, and I'll rush into your arms and. But you're not going to. It's not April. I, I didn't write the sonnet.